guys, it's Christian here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. <laughs> guys, as you know, we will be today showing you a tutorial on how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Um, this is much simpler than the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube, as I've got here. It's much smaller and um yeah if you want to learn how to solve three by three rubik's cube just look in my previous video i'll put the link down below so yeah let's just get straight into this video hey guys um my speed cube was being a bit faulty so i just got this normal cube nice and scrambled now and i'll just show you how to solve the two by two rubik's cube now now the first thing you want to do with the two by two is solve the first side I'm going to use white because usually with the 3x3 three three you do a cross but because there's no edges it's just made out of corners the 2x2 two two. okay so it's pretty straightforward you just got to do find each kind of color that can match so what I mean by this is this is white with blue and red you got to find a white with a blue we go white with blue and orange so we'll bring this so this cube needs to go there so we'll just bring this there put this down put there as you can see you got the two there and you got the two there so you want to do that to every single one okay now we've got a green and an orange so the orange can go there so simple we'll just bring this down See, got the two orange, bring that up. Now I have the two blue, the two orange. We just got to get these two and that little colour there. Pretty straightforward here. Just bring this to the side, bring this down, bring this to the side and bring it up. Now we've got all, whoops, now we've got all the two layers. But if you're, <laughs> if you're a bit lazy and you can't be bothered looking, you just want to hurry it up, just, I got a really good trick for this. Just put all the whites in. Doesn't matter. Don't even worry about if it's in the right colour or whatever. So see, they're all wrong. Do this simple algorithm. I'll put it there right now. So, right inverted, down, right, left, down inverted, left inverted, right inverted, down, right. And you see? So... Oh, yeah. Now, now what you have to do here, these two, hold them to the back of you and do the exact same algorithm. Right inverted, down, right, left, down inverted, left inverted, right inverted, down, right. And there, all solved. Okay, guys, now we have to solve the top yellow layer. Okay, guys, now when we got to solve this top yellow layer just want to do this exact same algorithm as many times as it takes until the yellow is solved so as you can see I have these there it doesn't matter where they are just keep doing this algorithm and eventually you'll get one yellow there because oh, it's the opposite of white and one yellow there and that means it's going to solve so you do this right up right inverted up right up twice right inverted so as you can see here we'll just do this little spin the one yellow is there the one yellow is there it might take a few times just keep doing it until you see these two there right up right inverted up right up twice right inverted see we've got the yellow side now the white side and now all you got to do here is move one thing here and you have one yellow this might be blue or orange or whatever green yellow red and white now what you want to do here this is to solve the whole thing completely you just want to hold it the red at the bottom the yellow at the back and the white facing you and all you got to do is a simple algorithm right inverted up right inverted down twice right up right inverted down twice right twice and then as you can see all you got to do here is that one little move and there you go you've solved the two by two rubik's cube 
Now, this is the Ortega method, and it's a very good method. It's a beginner's method, really. You can, But you can get very fast at this if you have the right cube. So if you have a good speed cube, I'd really recommend this strategy because you can get up to... Well, my, my record's about 11 seconds, but I'm sure some people out there are much faster at it. And, yeah, you can get very fast, maybe even sub-10. So please like and subscribe to this video. And if you want me to do more Rubik's Cube videos or whatever type of videos, just please comment down below. Okay, thank you and bye.